Buy that. Check out my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. I'm going to tell you how the pastor became the pimp. Now, after slavery, not right after slavery, but after slavery, when black people started forming their own communities, and we had our own little churches and shit like that, you know, when the white man wanted some pussy, how was he going to get it? You know, he didn't want to go through the ghettos to get it, even though that's what some of them did. They would risk their life and go to the worst black ghettos of America for some black pussy. But, right after slavery, when the, when the white man wanted some pussy, he would go to the church and get it. And, it, and you know, because even today, women, black women love church. Black women love church, you know. Black women listen to their pastor before they listen to their own husband. And black women love church. They love their pastor. You know, church ain't nothing but like their social, their social gathering where they want to get together and catch up with their friends and gossip about what they did all weekend, about who they tricked out of money or who girl, who man is fucking, who wife and shit like that. But when the pastor, wanted, when the white man wanted some pussy, what he would do is he would call up the pastor because the pastor know where all the women are. All the women come to his church and... The, the white men would go, even today, like like when politicians want to vote, where they go? They go to black churches. That's the same thing they did back in the days. They would go to the black church, and the pastor would hook them up with Sister So-and-So, and Sister So-and-So would claim that she was a home attendant, which they would do. But back in the days, they didn't call them home attendants. But that's what they are now. Like the home attendants go to the white man's house, clean it up, and after he finished cleaning up, the white man tapped that ass and get some pussy. And that's how the pastor became the pimp. And that's how they just why they back in the days they used to dress just alike with the gator shoes on and, and, and the uh, funny color clothes and shit and the big hats. That's how the pastor became the pimp. But even today, like when when um when you talk about uh, black women being taken advantage of during slavery, a lot of them wasn't. A lot of them wanted some white dick. It's real simple. Some of them wanted a high yellow baby with so called good hair. Look at the movie Scandal. I mean, that's why black women love that dumbass shit scandal. Because in their mind, they they think they're gonna be able, they think they're gonna get that man to leave his wife and family to be with her for the rest of her life. And, she, and it's not. It's real simple, y'all. What's up, everybody? Like always, pushing my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Uh, don't beat your children or they'll turn out like me and agitation gets the dirt out. That's three books of poetry and my hook book is called Pretty Ugly, A Harlem Situation. Um, you can use cash out to get a copy. Dollar sign, number one, Brad Bathgate. Inbox me if you want to know more about them.